Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about the four kinds of scenes that utilize 360 photos and video. They're very simple to set up, so let's go ahead and dive right in by creating a new experience. Now I'm just going to style this first character scene really quick. We're going to go into Jiffy Cat stickers and I'm going to type something like sphere. And we're going to use this maze sphere character. In the top, we're going to type in 360 scenes plus AR portals. And I'm going to add two buttons. One is going to be for the 360 scenes, and one is going to be for the AR portals. Now let's go ahead and get started with the 360 scenes. There are two types of 360 scenes. We'll go into add new and we'll add both of them. The first is the 360 video, and the second in add new is the 360 photo. They pretty much work in the same way. All you have to do is click on the scene and then you'll notice in the right hand menu you have options to search for a video which we are going to be doing. You can also upload a video if you'd like. Just make sure that the 360 video is exported as a monoscopic video. So what that means is a lot of times you'll have 360 videos that are stereoscopic, meaning they have two videos playing at the same time for left and right eyes. We want monoscopic, which is one single video. Directly underneath, you can enter a video URL from a hosted video. Keep in mind that 360 videos from YouTube will not render in Metaverse at this time, so if you try to use a 360 video from YouTube, it will not work. Okay, let's go ahead and click on search here, and we're taken to a 360 video library. You can view thousands of videos provided by SVRF, so thank you to SVRF, and you can use the search bar to search for videos. I'm gonna type in nature, see what we can find. Okay, Iceland, Miracle of Nature, perfect. Now you'll notice it's sort of faint, but you'll notice that a preview of this video has now appeared in the 360 video scene. So what that means is it's going to play, it's going to work just fine. Let's link up our button to the 360 video scene. We will also link our 360 video scene to our 360 photo scene. The other thing I want to talk about is that in the right hand menu you have a couple of different display options. So if you look at full screen and VR, full screen only will display the entire 360 video on your mobile device. VR mode will require you to turn your phone sideways and place it into a VR headset like a Google Cardboard headset. So it doesn't really matter to me how you view this, so I'm going to include full screen and VR. Now when we click on the 360 photo, we'll notice the exact same thing as the video. So again, video, photo, the only difference is in the photo scene we're pulling from a photo library, and the video scene we're pulling from a video library. So let's go ahead, search for a photo, and Mont Blanc, Italy, France looks great. We'll use that photo and you'll see a preview has also appeared. Now I'm going to go ahead and link this back to the main menu so that you can go through these scenes and then look at the AR portals. So let's move on to the AR portals. Just like the 360 video scenes, they work in the same way. We're going to add new. Here we have our video portal scene and I'll put that directly under the 360 video scene and I'll add AR portal photo scene, put that directly under the 360 photo scene. Let's link it up really quick. And just like the video and portal three, and just like the 360 video and photo scenes, we're just gonna click on it. We can search for a 360 video. I'll type water, see what happens. There we have shape of water based off of the movie. You'll see a preview has appeared in the portal and let's link it to the next scene. For the photo scene, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna search for a 360 photo. There's Mont Blanc, Italy again. Let's move on to Grand Canyon. And you'll see a preview has appeared. Now the difference between these two scenes is that the 360 video scene is gonna display just as a video. The AR portal scene is actually going to display a sphere that appears in front of you and that you can enter into. It maps out the 360 video on a sphere and it looks really, really cool. So let's link this back to our main menu and then I'll just add a third button here. It says end experience. 
that will end the experience. And now we're all set. We have successfully set up our 360 video and photo scenes and our AR portal scenes. I'm gonna go ahead and publish this experience. We'll call it tutorial 360 scenes plus AR portals. We'll publish it and then I will zoom in again so you can take a second scan this QR code. I definitely recommend you scan this QR code in particular because you'll see what it looks like and it is really, really cool. I hope you learned a lot about how you can embed 360 photos and videos into your experience and we will see you next time.